Hey guys, we're back over here with Art today. And Dave Wilkerson from Missouri that sent me a gift that I opened on a camera wanted to send Art a gift as well. And actually it's been sitting in the garage for quite some time. We haven't seen Art for a while because Art got slapped in the face with COVID and was down a while. But we're going to get this gift opened up and see what Dave sent him. And then we're going to go over some of the comments that's been coming up on YouTube on his cars. And then we'll be back over tomorrow too to fix the brake light on the 64 Plymouth. And he's going to get the exhaust fixed on the 58 and Palace. So we're going to take it over and get it dropped off to the exhaust shop. He wrapped that thing up pretty good. Well, I would say he taped it up good too. <laughs> you need a, I got a sharper it. knife. I don't know. It's probably not sharp enough for this. Maybe I'm going below the. Yeah. I think maybe now if you get underneath this paper right, right here, you'd be able to. the center off of it here. Yeah. This is an early Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I've probably got room for this in my garage. So I went, well, he's got a note in there. What's it say? Really have enjoyed seeing your car collection on Tony's YouTube channel. Just as important, thousands of us have gotten to meet you personally and hear the stories behind your cars all over the world through cell phone, computer, tablet, 75 inch TV. Thank you for sharing your time and cars with us. Want to thank you, Tony, for bringing art to all of us. Thanks, <laughs> David Wil Wilkerson. <laughs> well, thanks, Dave. That's a nice yeah. little letter. And there, I even got a picture out of that. What's in there? Oh, that's him. Oh, with the Pontiac. Watching us on TV. <laughs> that's um. Yeah. <laughs> and here's a little note, too. Here is a picture of you in my living room, one of thousands around the world. Wow, that's, that's pretty neat. <laughs> you wouldn't think a, some local boys would get any. Di <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we got the picture of the <laughs> Pontiac on here. I'll take some pictures oh, of these guys, and I'll uh, I'll put an overlay on the video so you can see what it is. Yeah, I went through two cardboards there. That's a pretty sharp knife that it did that. Yeah. It always been pretty sharp. Um he actually even put some Christmas wrapping paper in there. Yeah. <laughs> Early Christmas. <laughs> wow. That's got art right on it. He even wrapped that. What is that now? I don't know. Well, I don't know. Don't cut that. It looks like it's something in a box. Let's cut on these edges where it's... Well, actually, you probably could just rip it off. It looks yeah. like uh, oh, tissue, like paper. tissue paper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a little bobcat. I got a little bobcat for a toy. Wow. I got room for them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have any room for cars. Well, what else is that? that? Well, I guess that's the cage. Die cast yeah. metal. Yep. Loader model 7, 73. How about that? Well, that's pretty neat. He says his family ran the toy business for over 25 years and oh, his really? house is full of them. So, hmm. pretty generous guy. I would say. So, I'll take a, a picture of that as well and, and do an overlay on the video. Boy, good grief. There's another one here. Well, there's a big one, something right there. Yeah, here's another. Where oh, look, that's got my name on it. He sent me one. Oh, too. okay. Look, <laughs> it's the same thing. Oh, there you go, Tony. <laughs> he put stuff in there for me, too. Good he boy. told me he was sending a, a picture for, or a gift for art. But yeah, see there, we got, we each got one. <laughs> here's, here's a picture of Chrysler. 
Right. Same well, color as your grandpa's. Looks to be some color as your 48 Chrysler. I bought this magazine ad 30 years ago in Florida to swap me. Glad I saved it. Belongs with you, 48. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty neat. That's awesome, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> that same color as my Chrysler. That that would look good on your wall out there. Yeah. Same dash and everything. Yeah. Huh. Yep, that's pretty neat. Here's what a uh, picture. Wonder what that is. Picture of something. Good grief! It that's is. a magazine. It's like a Christmas. Get all kinds of prizes here. <laughs> April 53. Country Gentleman. Huh. From April of 1953. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's an old magazine that yeah. you probably got mailed out. Yeah, look, there's a, a, a mailing address on the, on the front. The, what is it? The right? Mrs. Orville, Orville Foltz. Yeah. Wheatland something. But I don't know. Probably got some. I'm having early Christmas. This is totally We're on hilarious. camera, ma'am. We're on camera, ma'am. Oh, <laughs> Art's wife doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> Somebody sent him a gift. And actually put another little one in there for me. And then he even sent us a... From his living room watching the video with the Pontiac. <laughs> Good grief. Here's some more. I probably have to give some of that to my... Great grandson. Oh, that says Tony oh, too. Tony too. Here's art. <laughs> oh, we each got one. Yeah. He, he, he sent us both stuff. Who's this from? A they, guy in Missouri. They, he sent me a gift, and then he, he contacted me and said he wanted to send art a gift too, but he threw a couple little more things in there for me as well. How about that? <laughs> here's the, here's the, looks like the tractor. Let's get this out of the way. What Down do we got here. there? You know, I An old John Deere. 720. Have, like, Amazon wish list, so people that want to contribute to their endeavor, they can go ahead on, online and order something that they are needing, you know? Yeah. I think that's pretty neat. It is. It's awesome. You got to put about buy me a coffee on there, too. They always have a where you can buy me a coffee. Oh, I, really? I don't know how you do that, but I never done I it. don't either. But I think that that way, that, you know, they go in and it's a special program they can buy you a coffee so give you money huh. to buy go buy your own coffee i guess yeah wonder if david care i might have to give that to my great grandson oh dave you're not going to care if he donates one of or that what do you call that bobcat if you're on camera you don't go telling somebody that you just got a <laughs> gift that you're going to give it away well he'll be fine with giving to a grandson what do they call that? Gift it forward or something. Pay it forward. Give it just like my grandpa and grand or grandpa and dad, you know. Yeah. Got two puppy dogs. Boy, that looks like that's puppy dogs. Yep. I don't want to ruin these because well, sometimes the box is seat. worth more than the Well, let's see. Does this open? Does it open this end? Oh, maybe it does. Yeah. Boy, that's quite a deal. That's brand new in the box. It's probably a fairly old, bigger, bigger. Uh, Here, let's. The whole thing comes out. Can you get a hold of it, the, the styrofoam, while I? I don't know if I can get a hold of it. Just turn it. Put this down and you put the box. Here, <laughs> okay, let the woman do it. <laughs> She's used to boxes anyhow. Yeah, get a hold of that. Before. There it comes. Yeah. <laughs> it's snug. Hold it. I got to get it. Yeah. It is in there awful snug. Oh, it's got a piece of paper with it too. Or a, a booklet. Mall 720 tractor. With the 80 blade and 45 loader. That prank thing's probably not doing anything but going up in value. Oh, it's got tape on the side. Oh. There's one. You got the other side across. Yep, it does too. It's probably metal, so you're not going to break it, but be careful. Yeah. 
I used to no, have to right pull there. a black baler with a. I thought that from was a six promotional material. Wow. Sixty John Deere. Is it really that old? From nineteen fifty six promotional material. Hmm. Now it ought to come apart, I think. Wow. It's even got chains on the top. Chains, too. <laughs> they come off of there. Oh, here it says 2001. That was when this was manufactured. So it's not brand new by any means. Good grief. I have to hide this because I got kids that would enjoy that. Mm -hmm. It's a safety even thing for the. Well, it's really detailed, isn't it? Yeah. Here's something else. A blade. A snow blade. Wow. It goes right on the three-point hitch. Yep. Look how detailed that is. It's 18. even got a, a winter jacket around it. I bet there's something in there. Is, there, is that just a, a just filler? Filler, I think. Yeah. That shows it's an 18... 18. You see got chains on the tires. Yeah, ain't that something? I was just like, Arthur, I wouldn't unpack it any more than no. you absolutely have to. <laughs> he does was there I on it? When, when our 57-year-old daughter was only uh, about six, she went to a John Deere uh, for, uh, customer appreciation with her grandparents and brought home, it was a set of uh, 10 John Deere's from the original one, you know, eight little bitty ones, mm -hmm. it was all shrink-wrapped on a card. If, because... One of them, one corner we peeled up to get one of them out, but because it's still shrink wrapped, it has more value than it. Yeah. Would. I had yeah. a John Deere dealer says, "I'll give you the new set that's got an extra tractor in it, but they're all in so little individual too. little boxes, and I'll give you so much money and a new hat, blah blah blah." Simply because he could finding those still shrink wrapped was impossible. Yeah. He had one. Wow, it's it's still got the plastic around all yeah. these. So I'd probably leave all that oh, on. Yeah, there. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even know. Yeah. Don't take anything off. You can't put it back exactly the way you found it. Well, that's awful neat, Dave. We that, really appreciate it. I appreciate that. I might have he, to, He's listening to us. Oh. <laughs> I have to buy another case, another plastic case. To, oh, yeah, that you got to display. That's beautiful. Yeah, and I, I reckon that this blade somehow attaches to that three-point hitch. Well, it says here, this 18th of the... Uh, Precision Classic Series of John Deere 720 mm -hmm. tractor with a blade and loader. The full 5 pile 720 was powerful and fuel efficient, setting power and all-time fuel economy records. Wow, that, it that's... Was capable of replacing two tractors. Huh. And was said to be the answer to the power requirements of large acreage row crop farmers. Many modern uh, way ahead futures available on the series were also included. Comfortable and convenient. These new features included custom power control, whatever that is, a universal three-point hitch, advanced power steering, wow. independent power takeoff, roll-o-matic front wheels, and a flow Yeah, the steering wheel works. See that? Mm -hmm. Pretty detailed. I can't believe that it, it's got a winter wrap on it. Yeah. yeah. It shows it here, a picture of it. Does it? You don't find malls with uh, that much detail. Houses. Need houser and chains. Need mm -hmm. houser and chains, even. Yeah. Well, it's not going to go down in value. I have to get another case <laughs> for that plastic case. Well, that's really I'll neat. Get rid of some. No, that's not something for a child to play with. Uh uh. No, it's not a toy. It's 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 a toy, I guess. But yeah, he sent him. You see this, Judy? Pardon. A country gentleman magazine from April 1953. Wow, that would be interesting just to look through. Well, yeah, you could probably sit right by the lamp this evening. Magazines I like to look through for like ladies' uh, clothing and mm -hmm. what was. He's sending that like his grandpa's Chrysler convertible original ad. <laughs> he must have to be a collector in himself. Well, his oh, family yeah. ran a toy business for toy over 25 business. years. Ah. Yeah, he when he sent me a gift, uh, he sent me a note like that too, and it, it, it said that he has a thousand plus tractors. <laughs> That's so cool. yeah, and I actually got to meet him. I got to meet him in Missouri, in Missouri and he helped me do a video when I went out there uh, down around Fulton. 
when I went and did a, I did a video recently going to pick up a 79 Lincoln and, and he found out I was going to be that close. So he actually got to film me getting it up on the trailer. Huh? Yeah, that is I'll that probably thing. have to get, put that on there too yet. Yeah. If you're going to display it, that yeah. probably ought to be on there. I don't know if I even figure it out. Well, here's the pen. <laughs> is there an instruction book? There's a, there's a book that can, a manual. It here. may be in there. Read the manual first. It probably tells you exactly how to put it on. There is some pictures on the back of the yeah. blade. Leave nothing to chance. Read the instructions. Oh, yeah. That's, I don't know. That may be taped shut, too. Well, even wrapped it in Christmas paper? Well, how? <laughs> that neat. That is something, ain't it? Very much so. Oh, or use this for packing in the other box. Yeah, that was just packed in there. It, oh, was, it was it was wrapped in the I can't in the brown even paper. See it good well, Arthur, don't go play in it. Here's the um, blade oh. assembly manual. <laughs> I know where Bob goes, but it ought to be common sense for us. But I don't know. I can't see. Okay. <laughs> well, I have to have the electrician do it here. That's your stabilizer bar. Don't it go up there? Yeah, that helps. That's pretty good the way it is. Yeah. We don't want to break anything. No. Well, that's really neat. Thanks a lot, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty, that's, pretty generous. That thing probably is worth quite a bit of money already. I, I know probably about five or six John Deere lovers in this area that would. Yeah. Have never seen something. Yeah, like that. I've never seen one that detailed. It's this here's even. Uh, boy, it's got and a that lowered the bucket or the the forks. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> one of those levers probably does raise and lower the blade. I just, I don't want to. Break any? Yeah, it's not staying on there. This here is a, looks like. A, oh, I see. I didn't have them pushed on far enough. They actually clip on. Okay, we had to read the instructions to get the blade on the tractor, but we got it on there, and I think you're pretty happy with that gift, ain't you? Or right. I gotta find a plastic case. Yeah. With the rest of my tractors. And it'll, you'll probably get attacked for taking it out of the box yeah <laughs> the box but we but you'll keep the box yeah and everything i got a lot of other tractors i kept the box up in the attic yeah because the box is sometimes worth more than the implement you know they right so while we're at it i got something here too that i got you that i'm gonna I'm going to get Dave one too. I got an eight by 10 photo of me at Ford world headquarters with my XL. Yeah, I see the sign. <laughs> yeah. And I had some people asking about these. So I thought, well, I'll get some made and I'm going to sign it and I'm going to send Dave one too. Okay. So you guys will be the first two to get it. So let's see. I'm left-handed. So I got to be careful not to smear it. <laughs> Well, I do a lot of smearing left-handed. I'm right-handed. <laughs> I don't know if Dave's seen my uh, mall collections or not, but yeah, he watched them all. We've seen him, all of your your stuff out there, so in the garage. So I appreciate that because. There it is. Thanks, Art. And I signed it for him. He gets the first one. I'm going to send Dave one to you. Okay. So we'll have to hang that up out there in the shop. So speaking of getting attacked for opening the tractor, I just kind of want to address some of the comments that we've had from this little art series <laughs> <laughs> that, that we had. Most of the comments, don't you agree with you? Probably 99% have all been positive. Yeah. Yeah, there's some really nice people out there. Yeah, they, um, some envy did and some wanted to be 
inherit my family or my <laughs> yeah yeah uh i guess the biggest course uh topic was the 58 chevy yeah um the fender skirts caught totally attacked uh, yeah in the first video so by so many do. people so we turn around and we do another video to try to please everybody and take them off and then we got attacked for taking them off yeah <laughs> But we didn't get rid of them. You you yeah, put them got, away. You, you, you kept them attic. with the brackets. Nothing. They could always be put back on. Get it painted. Yeah, that was I think the biggest part yeah. was what people was complaining about was they they didn't match. But some of them are younger, and they don't realize that was a fad back then. That was the thing. My dad is just a year younger than you, and um, he put. He'd put fender skirts on our 68 Ford convertible if I'd let him. Yeah. You know. Well, that's what you grew up with. Yeah, dual exhaust sticking out the yeah. back and the fuzzy dice hanging on the mirror. You got attacked for that, too. Yeah. <laughs> and somebody said, put those back on. <laughs> but honestly, the, the, the people that didn't like the skirts really outweigh the ones that, yeah. that, that do like them. Yeah. So, and personally, I think it looks better without them. Well... You but know, that's just me. You, you know. see pictures, and especially low riders, they got those, uh, what is it, the cruiser skirts? Yep, yep. So let's, uh, some of these comments, <laughs> I screenshot. Some people got this deleted. I deleted the comments, and I actually blocked those people from ever seeing any of my videos again because they were just so rude. It's just, you wonder, you know, who raised those people Yeah. Uh, to think that it's okay. Okay, here's this one here. This is one that really sticks in my crawl because I get this myself. Um, must be nice to be rich to own, let's see, must be nice to be rich to own this sell me one, old man. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing. No one knows how to punctuate. <laughs> Everything runs together. <laughs> so to start with, art's not rich by any means. And I've been accused of this myself. One of my friends asked another one of my friends, how'd Tony get so rich to have all these cars? Well, you know, like my 78 Mercury, I guess, other than the, my mom and dad's convertible that I still don't have done that they raised us in, but my 78 Mercury would be the first car of my collection. I paid $2,650 for that car 29 years ago, and I got a loan at the bank for 18 months, and I made payments on it and paid it off. I just never got rid of it. And, you know, and, and, I, and that's what I did with my other ones, too. And just like your car, that 58 Chevy you've had since the 1970s, Same. those cars weren't worth big money back then. Yeah. It's worth what it is now because of yeah. the way that you've kept it up. Yeah. And kept it original with the air bellows on it, not then converted coil springs. There's very few of them. Yeah, yeah. If there's any of them left. Yeah, you know, at the time, you probably paid what it was worth, you know. But it wasn't astronomical money. What it, And it's worth what it is today because of the way that you've kept it. Yeah. Um, I think I paid 3500 for that 58 Chevy, but yeah. And then, and then the 56 Ford Crown Victoria, you bought that after the Chevy, didn't you? Or was, no, that was two years before you bought the 55 crown. Yeah. Two years before that. So what year did you, that was, or how much, I mean, how much did you pay for the crown? You think I'd have to look it up, but it, nowhere near it's not like you just bought no, all this stuff no, last week because no. you got money for the cash to piss on you know so neither one of us are rich we buy things and we keep them and honestly i didn't even have the storage i was fortunate enough that my uncle leon let me keep my stuff out in his great big shed with the tractors and i would just go out there and get the stuff out and drive until i was able to build a shed myself and you've had this shed for since 73. Yeah, and then you added on to it. Yeah. You know, it's not like we did all this at once. Uh, let's see. Oh, 
we may have to pause the camera and go get the dealer brochure because here's where this guy says on the 58 Chevy, he says, uh, nice color, original question mark. Yeah. <laughs> Guess not because that color wasn't available then. And the upholstery doesn't match. Green slash turquoise color was common through the six, uh, through the sixties. So I guess he's trying to say that that green turquoise wasn't common in the fifties, but it was in the sixties is what I get out of that. So I'm going to pause the camera and we're going to go get the dealer brochure for the 58 Chevy and show you guys exactly what it shows. Okay, guys, we got the dealer brochure out of the 58 and it shows right here the Bel Air two-door sedan in Colonial Cream. So Colonial Cream was a color in 1958. And the tri-colored interior. Now, turquoise, whatever, but here's one that shows three different colors right there. So the car is absolutely 100% original. I don't know why anybody would question it. And then we had another comment, too, about um, the somebody said they had their feet all over the dash because the dash is all yeah, well, kind of uh, smashed down a little bit, uh, but that's just from over the years of it shrinking and the, yeah, pat, the padding shrinking. The padding, underneath. the foam that they had underneath the Yeah, it's, it's just shrunk. It's not... Yeah, heat got to it. Yeah, at car shows and stuff, because well, otherwise it doesn't dry, say that. Dry, dry... Yeah. They're just, you know, how foam, you know, disintegrates. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that covers some of that. And like I said before, we're going to take the, the Chevy to several, excuse me, several people commented about get, get that exhaust fixed on that Chevy, you know. And, That's and tomorrow. It's done mm -hmm. tomorrow, the exhaust system. Yeah. So the exhaust leak is going to be taken care of. Oh. Yeah. Got Here, a no, new heat riser for it, so. Yeah. Out of California. <laughs> yeah. So that, the 58 is going to be taken care of. Now, I don't know, you tell me this, and, and, and you guys, please put it in the comments and, and tell me if I'm bad about this. I do, I do hear us starting to talk together at, at the same time a lot, maybe interrupting each other or something, but this guy says, it is very rude of the person talking to, the person taking the video, and then in parentheses, possibly Tony, to talk over the gentleman that is giving it an explanation of the car. Not only is it rude, but the people watching are annoyed by him talking over the owner. Have you noticed that I talk over you that much? Well, I didn't even know what to say. You're the one with the question. <laughs> have, have, have any of you other guys, I mean, do I talk over the people too much? I'd like to know because if, if so, I'd like to work on it. That That's one of the comments <laughs> there too. So put the comments and let me know if I need to work on my rudeness because apparently I, I talk over you too much. Well. So, I didn't realize that you're the one that asked him the question. So yeah. I, we had one person said that GM, uh, that was the worst year they made the cars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was honestly, I was really shocked at how many people loved the 58 Chevy and Pal. I didn't realize they were that popular, but so many people spoke up and said it was the ugliest car ever made. Mm -hmm. So that, that was a shocker. Um, what else? Oh, one guy, I don't have that one, but he said he just couldn't believe that you had a rock driveway from the road to your shed. How do you keep from getting rock chips on your vehicles? <laughs> you have to go a little faster than what I go into the shed. Yeah, yeah, okay. So he's not running 55 mile an hour from the road to the, to the garage. So I don't think we're going to get rock chips. Plus there's rocks, all of these city streets in, in the Midwest, they're not big city roads. They're, they're yeah. gravel. They, they put road oil or road tar on them and cover them in gravel. Yeah. So everywhere you go, there's going to be gravel where you're actually up to speed. You could get a rock chip, but those tires set in so far on yeah. that 58 Chevy that they're not going to sling no. up on the quarter panels anyway. So that, that was a funny comment. Uh, what else was one of them? 
Oh, well, someone wants to know why you, on the Crown Victoria, why you've got different wheel covers on the front versus the rear. Is that because of the, the spinners would hit the, yeah. the fender skirts? Yeah. The, the mostly the mechanism that operates where you latch it in to the fenders. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to hit it. So, but I guess what's on it? What's on the rear for wheel covers? Somebody, I think the somebody said. original Ford 55 hubcaps on it. See, because I, I thought someone said on one of those comments, I should, but I should have kept it too. So I thought they said it was off an Oldsmobile or something like that, and I, I didn't think that that was the case. Well, the flippers, the front ones, he said that was, but that was the thing. You, mm -hmm. you put flipper hubcaps on, you know, that was. Right, just like the fender 50, skirts. That was the 50s, 60s era. Yeah, that, that's what you did. Um, I had, We had two people comment about, our, uh, your rolling stops at the stop signs. You didn't make complete stops. Two of them compared you to, let's see, they said that the old man didn't stop at either three stop sign. He and Biden, a threat to, to, the, to the country or something <laughs> like that. So we're not going to have anything political on either side. No, we don't no matter have the what side of the fence you're on politically, please don't put that on my channel. They were deleted. Because that can cause a big argument. Yeah. Just like Facebook. We don't need it. Well, we don't have the traffic in these little towns. That's true. The <laughs> cops don't stop at the stop signs. And the cop's not going to give you a, a ticket no. for making a rolling stop at a stop sign. You look, if nobody's coming. I mean, like, I think a lot of people don't know what it's like to live out in the Midwest. Yeah. That's small towns, you know. Yeah. The only time you, you really yield or stop is if there's somebody approaching it. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of places out in the country don't even have stop signs. No, <laughs> you just have to have common sense. Uh, see, you, you had one guy wanting to come and stay with you for a few days. <laughs> it's like, well, I don't know. Probably ought to do that, but um, I don't know. I think that just about covers the some of the meanest comments that, that we've seen on there. Negative. Yeah. Um, but all that art has been through with this knee replacement and having COVID. And when you were sick with COVID, you fell. Yeah. Because you were so lightheaded, you fell and twisted your ankle and it was all swelled up. And so that's why we haven't been over here for a while. But at the same time, through all this stuff that's gone on, even with that knee, Art still gets out, well, sometimes twice a week this summer, mowing the grass. Now he's mulching up leaves, yeah. trimming the hedges. He's still changing his oil and, and polishing his cars and doing all these things, even in that much pain. So, plus... Um, you know, a lot of guys would just lay down and stop doing that, but art don't stop. No. So please get off his case. Um, coming up, is it March that you're going to be married to Judy? Gee, 60 years. 60 years. So art's done very well for himself, and he's been waking up beside the same beautiful woman for the last 60 years. So how many of you guys can say that? Hmm? None, probably. So. <laughs> so that takes care of all the rude comments, I think. Yeah, I think pretty well. Yeah. So, but 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 most of it has been positive. I mean, yeah. and we appreciate it, and we love we love it all. We appreciate you guys watching us and and sticking with us through it all. I mean, I, it's been fun. I really enjoyed it. Oh Haven't yeah. You? Besides, yeah. I got after COVID and and uh, the knee replaced. We got the cars all out and running. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Some hadn't been run for three years since that COVID and me getting knee replaced. Yeah. So I think we're going to wrap up this video. We'll be back tomorrow. We're going to get the 58 Chevy over to the shop and get that exhaust fixed. And we're going to fix the brake light in the 64 Plymouth. We're going to try. 
we've narrowed it down. It's the turn signal switch. The current is not flowing through. It's not making contact on one of their one of the contacts of getting to the right brake light. So we're going to see if we can get that, and we'll show you guys that on video too. So, but Dave, I want to thank you again. Yeah, that was extremely generous. You sent me a gift. You even gave me some more of that stuff when we met, and you helped us with the video picking up that Lincoln over at Tracy's house in Missouri, and. I even feel like I got a friend out of Tracy going and getting that Lincoln. So it's always a neat experience. Yeah, you know? Dave, if you got a, a 18 scale 64 Plymouth Sport Fury, I'd enjoy having that. <laughs> yeah, he, it's hard telling what he's got in his house. He said yeah. he's got a thousand plus tractors. I got a, I forget <laughs> what scale, so matchbox scale, yeah. that 64 Plymouth, and I couldn't find a. Well, he may have a contact. Yeah. You know, if they made a little one, somebody made it, may have made a bigger sure one. I sure enjoy so. it because I collecting uh, models for the cars that I have. Yeah. So, yeah. You guys let me know what you think of these two. Should I get them made? Is anyone interested in them? So, Art and Dave are getting one for sure. So, it's not cheap to make them though. I can't just give them all away. And this, yeah, I checked on the shipping. It's seven dollars and sixty cents to oh, ship that's to ship each one. Shipping. They will give me the envelope. I can pick up all the free envelopes that I want. And it's three dollars and something a print to get them printed. So it's gonna. I'd have over ten dollars a piece in them with yeah. with the cost of it. And but I've had a few people ask if I would do something like that. So I came up with it. And hopefully, maybe somebody will want them. I don't know. But anyway, you and Dave are getting one. So. We'll wrap this up and we'll be back over tomorrow and we'll address some more of this stuff on these vehicles. So thanks for watching and stay tuned. We'll talk to you tomorrow.